Let's say we want to use a reflective device such as the EMX IRB RET. The 936 and 1050 boards can both be used with 300 hertz pulse output monitoring devices, and these can be used instead of or even in addition to the Blue Bus PhotoWise. So this EMX IRB RET can be set up in a 300 hertz pulse output, and we can reconfigure inputs on both the 936 and 1050 boards to use this as our monitor device. So to connect an EMX IRB RET to a 936 or 1050 board, the first thing we have to do is configure this unit properly. The first thing that has to happen is our program switches here. Program switch number one has to be on. Two, three, and four need to be in the down or off position. Then there are four jumpers in this unit. All four of the jumpers, there's a jumper here, a jumper here, and there's two more jumpers underneath this upper circuit board here. Um, all four of these jumpers need to be on the left hand and center pin. So the two jumpers behind this board are actually configured this way from the factory, but this jumper here and this jumper here, if you see, we can actually remove this jumper, and there's three pins there. We need to make sure that this jumper is on the left hand pin and the center pin on both this jumper and here. Then it's going to be a four wire connection. We are not using the relay output of this photo eye. We are using the pulse output and the VRX terminals. So the two terminals marked VRX are going to be our power and ground. As you can see here, we have a black wire to one side of the VRX, a red wire to the other side, and then we have a blue and white wires to our VRX terminals. So this is the proper configuration for an EMX IRB RET to either a 936 or a 1050 board to use this device as a 300 hertz pulse monitor device. Again, program switch number one on, two, three, and four off. All four of our jumpers on the left hand pin and the center pin. And then four wire connection, two wires to VRX and the two wires to the pulse output terminals. We are not using the relay. So now let's talk about hooking up an EMX IRB RET with a 300 hertz pulse output to a 936 board in lieu of the blue bus photo eyes that came with the system. So normally we just hook our blue bus photo eyes up here, but again, those are a through beam photo eye, and sometimes it's just not practical or cost effective to cross the driveway with wires if we're putting a photo eye across the driveway. So in this case, we're going to be hooking up an EMX IRB RET in 300 hertz pulse output mode to this board to supply the board with a monitored entrapment device. So when we first power up the board, first thing the board does is give us our firmware version 7.1 and it starts scanning the blue bus to see if an entrapment device is hooked up. Well, obviously there's not one hooked up to this board and so when it doesn't find one, it's going to give us an E1 error indicator. Okay, E1 error indicator means that no monitored entrapment device was found. So we've got an EMX IRB RET already set up, it's already wired, we've got two wires from VRX and two wires from ENC ready to connect to this board. Um, we've got program switch number one on, two, three, and four off inside the photo eye, and our, all of our jumpers set to the left side and the center terminal just like we had it when we hooked up to the 1050 board. So now our two wires from VRX are going to connect on the right hand side of the board to 24 volts and ground. Now 24 volts and ground is going to supply power to this photo eye anytime the board is awake. Now when the board goes into standby mode, it's going to turn this power off, so it's going to turn the photo eye off so that the photo eye is not burning power all the time. So this is really conducive to a solar application. Then our two wires from E and C are going to connect to one of our two auxiliary inputs here, either auxiliary input number one or auxiliary input number two and ground. Now I've chosen to use auxiliary input number two. So I've got my wires from E and C, the wire from E goes to ground, the wire from C goes to my input and I've connected them and now I've got a dimly lit red light right there indicating that I've got a 300 hertz pulse output from this photo eye. So when my photo eye is aligned, I'll get a dimly lit red light right there and when I break the beam, that light goes away. So now I know that my photo eye is powered up and working 
and ready to go. Now the next thing I have to do is I have to tell the board that this input is now a 300 hertz pulse input. By default, uh, this middle in terminal here, this input, and this middle terminal here are both step-by-step -step inputs. Open the gate, stop the gate, close the gate, step-by-step. -step. So to change the designation of this input, I press options. Then I'm going to scroll down to P1. P1 is going to be this input number here. If I wanted to change it, here's where I could change the designation of this input. But I'm not using that one. I'm using input number two. So I'm going to go on down to P2 and press OK. So the default on this input is zero, step by step. To change that, I just scroll up or down to choose zero, one, or two. So zero is step by step. One is a monitored closing input. Two is a monitored opening input. So I'm going to change it to one and press OK. All right, so that's how I set input number two to a monitored input now. So now if I power the board back down and power it back up, it's once again going to scan the blue bus. When it doesn't see anything there, it's going to look for P1 or P2 to see if one of those is a monitored input. Now, if it gives me an E1 error, all I have to do is press and release the Learn button again and re rescan that blue bus again. But in this case, you see that it found that monitor device, and now it says LR. LR is blinking, meaning that I'm ready to begin learning. So now I'm going to press and hold open. I'll be able to open my gate and press and hold close. It's going to close my gate. And I've got my limits already adjusted. I'm going to go ahead and press and hold the Learn button until LR goes solid about five seconds and once LR is solid and my motors wired properly my limits are set my monitor entrapment device is working as we see it is now I'm ready to learn I'm going to press OK and let the board begin learning it's going to do a short opening cycle and it's going to give me an E2 error message. The reason it gave me an E2 error message on this board is because I don't have a gate connected to this motor and the motor isn't, the board isn't seeing enough load on the motor for it to actually think that there's a motor connected. So I'm going to just load this motor a little bit this time. So we're going to relearn it, press and hold the learn button. LR solid, now I'm going to press OK. Now I'm going to load this motor a little bit. And now you see it open just a little bit. Now it's closing. So anytime you get an E2 error indicator, could just mean that your, your motor isn't connected to the gate and it's just the, the, the motor amperage isn't high enough to, for the board to, to see that. Rarely happens. My test unit here, there's no load on these motors, so it sometimes occurs. Again, just put a little more load on the motor and it won't do that. You'll just relearn it. We'll be ready to go. So the gate closed all the way, found the limit, now it's opening all the way. Once it gets to the fully open position, again it's learning in slow speed, learning how many motors are connected, what kind of motors. Now it's going to close, and you'll see as it's closing it's counting down from 100 down to zero. Once it gets to zero, we're learned. And gate closed, CL. So now if I press and release the open button, the gate's going to begin opening. Again, my 300 hertz pulse input right there. You see as I break the beam as it's opening, nothing happens because I've set this as a closing monitored input. So when the gate gets open, it says gate open. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn on our timer to close real quick. Auto close is currently set for zero. I'm going to change that to five seconds. So now if I hit the open button again, you'll see it starts counting down. If I break the photo beam, the timer close goes back to five. So each time I break the photo beam, you see my light is going off right here, my, my monitored input. And it's resetting that timer close back to five seconds. I'm going to go ahead and let it count down and close automatically. It's now closing. If I break that beam, the gate stops and reopens. And it's that easy to connect a 300 hertz pulse output EMX RBRET to the 936 board.